Hi, and in today's Microsoft Word tutorial, I'm just going to show you how to set up your basic document, basic page setup, so that you can get yourself going with a simple document. So I've opened up my first document with just default pages that will just come up as portrait. And I've just entered some random text in so that you can just see what I'll be doing with margins, headers, footers, and page numbers, etc. So the first thing we need to look at are our margins. Now, by default, you might be very happy with these margins, but some people often want to change those margins just to change the look of their work or to place more content on their page. Obviously, with smaller margins, you're going to get more text on the page. So at the moment, I've got two rulers, ruler at the top here, and a ruler at the side. Now if you cannot see your rulers, go up to view and then go along to ruler and make sure it's checked. Once you've done that, you'll be able to see your margin line. So your margin is the gray section and your document is the white section where your text will lie. Now if you want to change these, you can do it in two different ways. You can either go up to your ruler Place your cursor between the grey and the white section until it turns into a double-headed arrow. Click and you'll see a faint line come up, a vertical line. And all you do is pull your margin over to the right. And as you can see, that's decreased your margin and increased the amount of text on your page. You can do exactly the same with the left-hand one. Now, these arrows can often get in my way. So sometimes what I have to do is just move them out of the way. It will move some of your text, but don't worry. Just grab the margin in the same way we did with the other side. Make sure your cursor is a double-headed arrow. And just again, once again, move it over to the left. Now you can see that this paragraph here has been indented because my arrows up here have moved. So we just need to move those back and it'll move back in line. So that technique there is a little tricky. The left hand side however to move your margins up and down to the top and bottom of your page is far easier. Again you just click and drag and you can move those margins up or down and again with the bottom you can do exactly the same and you can get quite a bit of text on your page by reducing your margins. Now if none of that suits you I'm going to go back by pressing command or control and Z and it will take me back to my default document. That can be a little bit clunky. So if you go up to the layout tab and along to margins, click on the drop down and you can see a number of different options here. So narrow is a good option if you just want to reduce the size of your margins and just click on that and you can see that that will automatically change your margins. Alternatively, if you want to select your own margins, then go down to Custom Margins. Once you click on that, this dialog box will appear, and as you can see, you can change your margins top, bottom, left and right. So you can either use the up or down arrows, and as you do so, you'll get a tiny little preview here, which will show you exactly what you're doing. Alternatively, you can just pop in a figure. Let's just put one centimetre in for all of these, and then click OK. Now I'm going to choose to ignore that because I've just put this in for a demonstration. And once again you can see how these margins have changed and they're all one centimetre. So once you're happy with all of your margins, you can go ahead and look at your headers and footers. Now the headers and footers appear at the top and the bottom of your page and they will have in things like page numbers, document titles, report titles, that sort of thing. And they will be placed in the margin and they will continue throughout your document. So there's two ways to access your headers and footers. The first way is to go up to insert and then you can go along to header and footer here. So you can just simply click on the header and then you can select from a number of different options, different graphics to choose from and likewise you can do the same with the footers. If you don't want any of this type of graphic then all you can do is take your cursor to the top of your page and double click. Then you'll access your headers and your footers. So let me just go ahead and type something in. And as you can see, your header will appear on each page. 
Now, if you don't want this header to appear on your first page, then ensure you're on your header and footer tab, and then just select different first page. And if I do that, and delete this one, you can see now that my header only appears on the first page. Let me just click out, double click on your main document, and you can see that header is now only on the second page. Go back to headers and footers, let's just uncheck that, and you can see it reappears. Whilst we're on headers and footers, we can insert a page number. So if you go down to your footer, just click with your cursor in your footer. Then you can go up to page number. Click on the drop down and select page number. Here once again you have a dialog box and it gives you the option to place your page number on the left, the centre or the right of your page. Let's choose centre. And once again you're given the option as to whether that page number appears on the first page or not. So let's just uncheck that and click OK. And as you can see, your page number doesn't appear on your first page, but does appear on your second page. Let's go back to page numbers again. And let's select show number on first page and click OK. As you can see now, your page number will appear on the first page. You can also add text across here if you want to. So let's just put in the same text and you can see that that will appear on both pages. To exit your headers and footers, just take your cursor within your main document and double click. And as you can see, the headers and the footers have slightly greyed out, which means you can't edit them. If I click on them, you can't edit them unless you double click back into the headers and footers. Now, if you want to change the orientation of your page, let's say, for example, you've done your document and you think actually somebody's told you it needs to be in landscape mode, then just go up to layout, go over to orientation, click on the drop down and select landscape. Once you've selected landscape, all of your margins will remain exactly the same. But again, if they don't suit your needs, you can go ahead and go back up to margins and you can select a different margin and your document will change accordingly. Now, just a very quick overview of fonts, because of course, all of this is set up in a default. If you want to change your font, just place your cursor anywhere in your document, click Command or Control A, and that will select all of your text. Go up to the Home tab, and then you've got this section here, which deals with font. So you can go up to the font selector box here, click on the drop down, and you've got lots and lots of fonts to choose from. There's a little arrow at the bottom, which you can't quite see. But if you just place your cursor over it, it will scroll through all the different fonts that you can choose from. So let's just select a different font. And as you can see, Word has changed my font. And because this is a slightly bigger font, it will adjust where your font lies within your pages. I've now got an additional page, because my font's a little bigger. If I don't want that, but I do like this font, I can reduce the size of my font. So in order to do that, I can either go to this font size tool here and make a selection. In addition, I can go over to this icon here, and this will decrease my font size each time I click. So as you can see, with one click, I've now reduced my font size and it's now appeared on only two pages. In addition to that, if you need your font centered or right aligned, you can use this section here. This is where your document is at the moment, left aligned. But if we click center text, all the text is now in the center. Or if we want right alignment, then obviously we can choose right alignment. If you want justify, as many people do for a variety of different documents, then just click the justify text and this will mean that your text is stretched out so that it looks completely rectangular and meets each margin. So let's just go back, set all that back up. We want over to there and then I just want the title to the center. So highlight the title and click center. Of course, you've got all of these other different options here. So if you did want to change the boldness of your font, you can click on this icon here 
all the underline here, you've got italics in the middle, and then you've got font colour. Now if you click on this icon, you'll get a range of different font colours to choose from. And also if you go to more colours, you have your colour wheel, and all you do is move this little cursor around and it will select a different colour which will appear in this box here. There are other options at the top here, you can click on those and just work through different colour options. If you need to get rid of this blank page here, if you go up to the Home tab and click on this icon here, this will show you where all your return keys are, where your tab keys are and any page breaks. Now you can see up here there's a return key so if I click on it and press my backspace button it will get rid of it and I will be able to delete that spare page. Once I'm done go back up and just click back off that icon. So that's a basic setup of your document. If there's any other questions you have please don't hesitate to ask and I'll try to help you out as much as possible. If that's helped you today please subscribe and have a great day.